Hey guys, this is Mr. Nightmare here, and today we'll be reading chapter two or one of Hey There Little One from Sl A Slenderman Love Story. Before we get started, please hit that like button, comment, subscribe to this channel if you guys want more creepy pasta fan fictions out there. Until then, let's get started. Jessica's point of view. After the beating I got from my mom because I was home late, my whole body was sore and numb. I took a shower to less this smooth my body. When the hot water hit, my muscles relaxed. After I put my pajamas on and went downstairs to watch TV for a little bit until I have to go to bed. When it was time for me to go to bed, I saw a note on my window and I went to grab it and read it. Hi, Jessica. I was kind of scared at this point of person who do this of these things putting notes on people's windows I looked out my window and I saw him the guy with no face I stepped back only for, to hit the wall behind me after a few minutes of staring at him I had the courage to open my window he came closer as I just stood there frightened who, who are you I asked I am Slenderman, but you can call me Slendy, he re replied. Well, I may I ask what brings you here? I have seen that you have been abused by your mother, and I want you to be safe and away from abusive mother. Um, okay, and I want to invite you that you could come and live with me while you are safe from the bad world. I guess I can. It's not like my so-called mom would care. I still didn't trust him because, I mean, I barely met him a minute ago and just gave me the day to think about it. That okay? Okay, he answered. At least I saw him crept into the woods and disappeared into the night. I was so tired, I definitely drifted off into a dreamless sleep. Slindy's point of view, I couldn't take to see a beautiful girl get beaten by her mother. She didn't deserve that. What the hell am I thinking? I cannot l be in love. I am a cruel, heartless creature who kills children in order to satisfy their needs. I need, I still can't believe this, so that I actually invite her to live with me. She was very pretty and gorgeous indeed with her choppy black hair that falls all the way down to her middle of her back, her gray eyes. But then again, I have a feeling of completion to like her, a compulsion to like her. I need to protect her. Jessica's point of view. I searched up Slenderman on Google. It's like the kill, he kills adults and teens and children, but mostly children. He also enters all the around the world, ranging from North America until Russia, and being alive for thousands of years. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm not going to live with him. But if he's going to kill me, if I reject that, I was now feeling scared of many possibilities of torture that he could do mainly because I know that he isn't human. What am I going to do?